Hey guys, my name's John. Uh, just a random Newfoundland owner. Um, my Newfoundland, I have a black Newfoundland. He's about a year and a half old now. He is 110 pounds um, and he is fluffy. So this video is not really going to be a, a great video with a lot of graphics, but it's just going to be... Uh, the, there's there's a lot of videos about pros and cons of Newfoundlands, um, and there are a ton of pros of having a Newfoundland, but this video I want to focus on the cons, um, just because when I was looking online, I couldn't find a lot of videos about, um, about the negative things about having a Newfoundland, which is not really anything, but... There are, there are quite a few negatives that you have to worry about and you have to think about. Um, one thing, I live here in South Texas and uh, we got our Newfoundland from Florida, I believe. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. My, my wife is the one who, uh, who got him, but I believe we got him from Florida and we got him in the airport. But I would say one of the biggest cons for having a Newfoundland in South Texas is the heat. Um, now, everybody knows Newfoundlands are really big fluffy dogs and they're cold climate dogs. Um, we do the best we can to take care of them here, so we always leave them inside the house. He's always indoors. We always have the air conditioner blasting at 70 degrees, um, which in Texas, South Texas is blasting, by the way, especially in the middle of the summer like it is right now in June. June and July, but um, we always have him indoors. We always have the air conditioner blasting. We always have water out for him with a lot of ice, um, and we always have uh, a wet uh, a wet towel on the floor. And that way, he can uh, he can you know stand on the towel, put his paws on the towel, and it kind of helps with heat exchange. Um, but that itself arises a lot of issues. So one of the issues that, uh, that we have is that he likes to go around our apartment, take a sip of water, walk around the apartment, take a sip of water, walk around the apartment, take a sip of water, walk around the apartment. And every time he does that, he just tracks water all over the apartment, which is really annoying because he drinks a ton of water because he's a cold weather dog and he's almost always warm, right? He's always hot to the touch uh, because that's how they are. So, um, so he drinks a ton of water and he makes a mess and, you know, cold weather dogs, they, they have heat exchange through their paws. And so another thing that he likes to do occasionally is he will put each one of his paws in water and you know, he'll dip it in the, in the dog, in the, in the water bowl that we have in the apartment. Um, the issue with that again is that he likes to walk around the apartment with his paws soaked and those big fluffy paws are like big sponges. They hold a lot of water. So, uh, yeah. So there's that, uh, another con of, or I get, I, cons, I guess, you could say more considerations, things that you have to think about before you commit to the breed, um, things that we weren't really aware of. We knew about it, but we weren't really aware of the severity of it, so that is a big thing. Every single day we come home, the floor is a slip and slide, and we have to mop it constantly, and we have to get the vacuum and, and clean it because there's always water all over the floor. Um, and this brings us to the second reason not to get a Newfoundland is the, uh, is the fur, okay? So they put off, especially whenever they're, whenever they're molting, they put off a ton of fur. I mean, they probably shed about a poodle and a half. So we're talking a ton of fur comes off. I remember, especially in February, February is where I do a lot of brushing him because that's when it starts to get hot here. Um, I get my brush and I start brushing and brushing and brushing. And generally I take off about a chihuahua a day <laughs> for about two to three weeks. Um, but that fur gets everywhere, especially in the summer. Um, our clothes, whenever we go out, is always covered in fur. 
uh, doesn't matter if we keep him in the main room or if we keep him in his cage or, uh, or you know, whatever. There's going to be fur everywhere. Um, little fur bunnies running across the floor. That's what I like to call them. Uh, they're essentially little conglomerations of fur that, uh, that build up together and they just kind of go rolling across the floor. So, uh, that, that's also an issue, but I would say those, that's really it. If you're going to get a Newfoundland, best dog I've ever had. Um, I've had a, uh, I've had a pit bull, I've had a retriever and I've had a bloodhound. And then my family growing up, we had, we had a few other dogs growing up, but by far this one is the best one. He's the most loyal. Um, he just wants to cuddle all the time. He just wants to lay down on your lap. Even though he's 110 pounds, he doesn't care. He wants to lay down in your lap. Um, just an awesome dog. I really do love him. He's a great dog. Uh, but <laughs> the, uh, when you're transporting him, like if you're going to, to drop him off at, uh, at your aunt's house or if you're taking him to PetSmart, um, your car will have a ton of fur and it will get a small, a, a really strong stench of dog. Um, if you don't like dog smell, then Newfoundland's maybe not the best for you. We have to wash our dog about twice a week to get him from having a dog smell. Mind you, that is a lot of work to wash him twice a week. He's a big dog. There's a lot of fur, and it's just hard. It takes a lot of time. Uh, but uh, let me see. That was pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Um, so if you're going to have a Newfoundland, I really, I really suggest that you do get one because I love them to death. But I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows what they're getting into before they commit to the breed, right? So before you decide that you want to get a retriever or something like that, you look into it. You look into uh, whether with their behavior, how they are with people, how they are with new pets and all that kind of stuff. Um, but like I said, today I wanted to focus more on the cons because I couldn't find a video like this out there on YouTube. Um, so I just wanted to put one out there myself. But great dog uh, shedding is a big big deal every year in the winter time not a problem in the summertime it is crazy it is insane and it is everywhere all over the house all over the furniture it comes up in your food it comes up in your refrigerator it comes up in your clothes it comes up in your mouth when you go to take a sip out of a cold coke it comes up in the coke uh, it, it, it gets everywhere in the summer, especially in a hot climate like South Texas. Um, and then they take a ton of water and they love water. So because of that, they'll probably track it all over your place if you keep them indoors like we do because we're in South Texas. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the only other than that. He's a great dog. <laughs> I'm blessed. Yeah. You know? But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys uh, give you guys that heads up, um, and yeah. So, all right, guys, deuces. I'm out.